In this video, we're going to be looking at different ways to raise money, so different types of fundraising. And at this point, you've probably got an idea, you've worked out that you need some cash, you want to make something interesting happen, and you've also worked out how much you need. So you've thought about ways that you're going to communicate your project and uh, worked out a budget and a basic kind of activity plan for that. You'll also have worked out your list of, of stakeholders, so who will benefit, who's going to be interested in your project, and who might be able to support your project in different ways. And now you're ready to look at different methods of fundraising to choose which is best. So what types of fundraising are there? There's a number of basic kind of strategies. First of those might be events. Uh, then we'll talk about sales, and then we'll talk about donations. It's also good to think about uh, crowdfunding as a type of fundraising. It also acts as a distribution model, a way to get your project out there. You can use it for pre-sales, so to sell tickets uh, or to sell products that you're, that you're making, and also as a way to gauge interest, to see who's interested in your project. It'll also be a way to give you promotion and exposure for what you're doing, which can be really, really useful. Lastly, we'll look at applying for grants and everything that that entails. So what's the best type of fundraising for you to choose? When you're thinking about this, you want to think about how each type of fundraising helps you actually achieve your project's aims. So if we look first at one of the basic strategies, the idea of a fundraising event, this is where people would pay to take part in something and enjoy themselves. So it might be something like a cocktail evening or a quiz night or something to do with fancy dress or maybe even like a games night, something like that. And you want to think about, can this type of event, this type of fundraising, also help you achieve the aims of your project? So sometimes that might really fit in really very well, and at other times, maybe not so much. When you're raising funds through an event, then you're thinking about charging people like a ticket price for entry. So to enter the quiz, it might cost £5 a head. Um, or to come to the games night, you might want to ask for particular donations, um, some kind of payment on the door. You could also set up things where people pay to leave or where they pay per item used. So on your cocktail night, for example, it might be per cocktail that people drink. The second type of fundraising that we're going to have a look at is the idea of sales. So this might be things like uh, cake sales, it might be sales of artwork or objects, merchandise, things like this, where you ask people to pay for a product that they want or need and that money or the profits from that money go towards you raising funds for your project. So again, thinking about can the sale itself also help you to achieve your aims? So if you're working on a photography project, for example, and you're selling photographs or selling prints, then that might actually be a way to tally up your fundraising with the aims of your project itself. With this type of project as well, you're uh, getting money in by buying something in, possibly, so say like, so you might be buying in a tray of donuts or something from a supermarket. Each of them individually might cost about 20 pence to buy and you could sell them for 80 pence. So you're making a 60 pence profit on every donut that you sell. All of that profit and all of that money goes into your fundraising for your project. So this is quite a kind of simple and straightforward way to make some money and gather together enough that you need to start off your project fund. The next of the basic strategies that I'd like to have a look at is donations. So donations is where people give money to your project because they believe in the same cause as you. So you might see this more often with charities, um, with people being sponsored to do different things, where they're appealing to their friends or family or people who they've met to give some money um, 
with just a feeling of goodness in exchange, so feeling of goodwill in exchange. So thinking about this and thinking about the aims of your project, is there anything about the way that people donate that links to your project's aims? So are there ways in which you're collecting the money or ways that you're appealing to people in different ways uh, that links to actually achieving the aims of your project? Another type of fundraising that you might want to have a look at is crowdfunding. So crowdfunding is almost like a mix of this sales, the donations and the events that we were talking about just now. It can be where people pay for a product or they give money or where they pay to take part in something. And because they believe in the project idea and they relate to you and they want the finished product to happen, that's what their kind of motivation. We're going to have a look at crowdfunding in more depth as well in another video. The last of the strategies that we're looking at in this overview is the idea of applying for grants. So this is for where you're raising a large amount of money in one go from a grant or an organisation uh, that distributes money. So it might be something like the Arts Council that distribute money from lottery funding uh, to different arts projects around the country. So funders are going to choose your project because it helps them fulfil their aims. So when you're thinking about how you're communicating your idea and how you're designing your project, you might want to think with those things in mind. You'll need to know what those funders' aims are. Also, you'll need to be able to demonstrate the needs and benefits to the public or to specific groups that are supported by the organisations who are making the grants. So this uh, can be quite an involved process, but definitely really good when you're thinking about how you're engaging with the public and how you're bringing uh, people around maybe your local area into your project.